questlings to the land of Mortel and the story of a group of adventurers who journey through this world of unstable magic, undiscovered secrets, and unending adventure. Follow us on our grand quests for peace, love, battle, riches, and prestige. Introduce our guests. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, I think we can introduce them by starting. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, take it away. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys just want to give us a real quick rundown of uh, what your names are and uh, what you're about. Yeah. So at Character hand. names, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah not, not like, okay, that's like first day classes. Yeah. Not like, <laughs> no, not your first. Two yeah. jokes and a lot. You don't hear about hey, yeah. You don't hear about oh, a lot and, so. and other white You can have any superpower. Yeah. Oh, what's, no what's your theme song? What's your major? Yeah. What do you go to high school? Do a motion. What do you do in your free time? Go. Right. Nothing. No, we're real we're sex. I play D&D. Sure. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm um, alcohol first because. Well, that sure went fast. Um, I'm I'm a Lana. I'm a rogue. Um, what else? I. I Came, come from like this royal family with the royal with the royalty within um, the Wood Elvens themselves. Oh my gosh! But I didn't really act like a lady as a kid, so my parents kind of sent me away to what could be considered like an insane asylum, plus, which kind of made me a little bit crazy. And then I got out. Um, I knew what else. I kind of tried. I was trying to do research based off act about the characters. Um, what else don't really become adults until they're about 100 years old. So I'm like 140, so I'm really young, considerably. Um, and I have the education of like a middle schooler, but I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm super stealthy, um, pretty pretty comical. I guess I accidentally made my character a little bit like um, a Harley Quinn-esque. Oh, nice. In a oh, sense, without the love story, which is fantastic for me. Yeah. Um, Our character backstories are similar, and I like that. It's cool. Yeah. You're going to get a long fine. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm super friendly to other people. It's not like I'm like super unnecessary. Nice. Um, but there are people that are out looking for me from where I escaped from. To no try. No try. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. Cool. And you, Mr. Yes. Hello, everyone. I am Elder White. I am an 18 year old human paladin. Uh, on my mission trip, I. Was no. <laughs> Born and raised in the Church of the Lord Cord, K O R D. Um, and now it is my duty to spread the message of Lord Cord everywhere I go. Um, with a sword. Yes, with a, with a sword. Cord, 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 sword. Uh, I grew up in the town of Cordia. Um, I did this so bad. Uh, I love it again. Uh, I was chosen by our church's hierarchy to spread our religion far and wide due to my natural charisma. Um, while I easily draw people to me, I know little to nothing about the world I am in, being in this cult all my life. Uh, I attempt to convert anyone I interact with into the belief of Cord, and I will not stop my mission trip until I have obtained an artifact that belongs to my Lord and Savior. Um, I'm also kind of athletic because we have a lot of intramural competitions within, within the cult. So, hello everyone. Please let me talk to you about our Lord Cord. <laughs> yes. I wish my friend All right, we got Elder White and Alana, and let's go around the circle real quick and get our, our normal party. Shall we uh, introduce ourselves in yeah. character? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, you're going to introduce yourself in character. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, Waka Waka. I'm a kobold. <laughs> I'm a little lizard, lizard man covered in in little fancy get up, and I invent things. For people, for money, Be- and I li- and I want- and it likes me some money. That's <laughs> why. Uh, you can call me Vestrin Galakir, and I'm currently a tabax. I mean, I'm a tabaxi. Um, I uh, uh, have a a way with my hands, in the sense that I always get a five finger discount. <coughs> I mean, um, uh, I'm trying to do good. I'm trying to do good. Really trying. Really. Really hard. Um, and hopefully uh, I'll be rewarded sometime in this life or maybe in the next one. Who knows? And if you uh, guys don't know, Tabaxi's are large cat people. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are Zach and Jenna, and we will be all the other characters. Thank We're going to be everything nice. else in the whole world. <laughs> I'm Tevis. My name's T. 
Don't ever call me Timus. I will fucking hate you. Uh, I don't like civilization. I live in the wild. I think it's better than everything else because uh, cities make people dumb. Uh, I can swindle. I can make shit up and people believe it all the time. It's like so <laughs> fucking easy, I swear. Isn't it? Uh, I, I, get, I get the image of like Timus like in a hut with like different outfits <laughs> and when travelers pass by like like you just like eh like you got, you're like a hermit one day <laughs> and then like the next day you're just like yeah. some grizzled warrior. I, I have many identities but I have a co- fully complete one that I use to, to make actual like le- legitimate trades. But uh, I'm trying to find the man, or the men, who killed my parents. That's me. Damn. Hello! Oh. My name is Funkin! They call me Funkin Donuts because when I get drunk, <laughs> I dance very funkily! He does, I can, uh, I can vouch for that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a little halfling with yeah, like bright green. He loves Steve. He loves Steve. He has a pony. pony. Not me. Like the, the stuff you drink. He probably loves you. Yeah. <laughs> he loves everyone. <laughs> All right, and finally. Hi, I'm Althea, also a wood elf. I'm 123 years old. I'm quite well studied. I'm from a faraway land where I lost everyone I've ever known and loved. <laughs> and I've lost all of my power, which at its end grew quite powerful. Damn. Also, I'm grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and, you and T get along to a T. Would, you like, would you like some tea? Uh. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, where we last left our party, uh, they were all sleeping oh. at the uh, at Catfish Johnny's, right? The, the main tavern right on the docks oh. of uh, Saltport. However, this night, uh, the, the camera pans down from the stars and through the clouds, uh, but does not find itself uh, landing uh, upon Catfish Johnny's where the party resides. Uh, in fact, it lands uh, upon a boat that is splashing up against the dock. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> like, I get so involved. <laughs> I get really into the story. What can I say? Uh, I love the heat of your breath. Not now. <laughs> Not now, maybe yeah. later. Um, yeah, so um, a uh, like a, a small schooner is like splashing up against the docks, and a a man in a cloak gets off of the boat, and there's a brief uh, exchange between these two individuals, uh, and a safe is is passed off. A large, heavy safe is passed off, uh, and this this individual he uh, he removes his his cloak. And he's like a nice, regular looking human, yeah. Uh, a pretty normal, really sweet looking guy, kind of like nice little round, rosy cheeks, uh, and he, uh, he takes, the, takes the safe and makes his way into town. As he's walking through town, uh, he sees these two individuals uh, that, that seem to have like, very recently arrived to Saltport. Uh, you, you, you arrived, got off on the, on the docks, and down like the main thoroughfare, there's a large marketplace that is, at this point in the morning, just getting started. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking you two are maybe just like standing around trying to take all this in. Have either of you been in uh, an extremely large like city before, anything of that nature? I've never seen so many people in my entire life. Okay, okay. I've, I mean, I've been very limited to the woods. I haven't been very other places. Well, see, I was raised in Cordia my town where everyone loves our Lord and Savior Cord. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. So if you would love to hear any more information, I would love to talk your ear off about our Lord and Savior Cord. Oh, I don't I have this book right think here. So. <laughs> think so. Like, that's a doozy. That sounds really, really important and stuff, but I think I'm okay. And like, uh, as you're talking, you know, people are bustling around, getting their market started, uh, getting them, getting their, um, getting their tables set up, and uh, and like a large orc, uh, not an orc, uh, yeah, a large orc like pushes past you all holding a bunch of tapestry and yarn. Uh, and everybody is just like getting ready to start the day when uh, this very kind individual uh, approaches the two of you standing right in the center, right around the main well. Um, and uh, yeah, he's come, he comes up and he's like holding this large, this large safe. No, I was just like, do you have the map to show him? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally, no. totally. I can get the map. This is a map. Yeah. Um, yeah, take it away. Yeah. Oh, hello, you two. You look like you could use a task. 
Oh, could you use a task? I, I mean, I'm already I'm already on a task from our Lord Cord, but I'm always up for an adventure. I'm I'm sent here to kind of spread the word. So <laughs> well, fantastic! I have a fantastic opportunity for you if you're willing to listen. Oh, okay. I'm working with the research commission. I have a very important artifact that I need to transport across Mitten Bay, and I could use some protection. Ooh, artifact! Would it happen to be an artifact from my Lord and Savior Cord? It possibly could be. That's why the research commission needs to do its research, and I need to deliver its heads for. Uh, my rat bacon doesn't really like the smell of the safe. What? Do you have any idea what could be in it? Um, frankly, it's a bit of a secret. I don't really feel weird. I mean, I'm all for it. I need to learn more, so I would I totally use this. I promise I'm a bonafide effect. member of the research commission, and we just require assistance, and you two look very capable. I guess I'm not really doing anything else. I say we trust them. We'll reward you monetarily. I do like money. Well, I mean, we don't really use money in Cordia. We kind of just use word we'll of mouth. We'll take the money. I'll take okay. his. Well, you'll meet plenty of people along the way to spread the word. Perfect. So at this point, uh, after being um, spoken to this man, and like you're, you've been uh, asked to join him on an adventure. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if you have, if your character has heard of the... Um, the, 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 the the institute, the, the, oh, the, the research, research, the research yeah. commission. Maybe you have the research commission. Uh, they're like they run the museums. They're the artifact hunters, right? They're like the Indi Indiana Joneses of the world, but maybe a little more lame. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of organizations in this world. Exactly. The Kentucky Jones. Either way, uh, he uh, he mentions that he's going to need more assistance, right? That, that, that he trusts the two of you, uh, but he needs a larger party to, to protect this very rare artifact. And so, because of that, he says he had recently heard of a, a large group of people, like a party, that... Hmm? Oh, well, yeah, he... he, he <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. Ran a person for it. Uh, no, he heard a large team, so group of people <laughs> that, um, that had recently done something fantastical for the town. Uh, the, this is Saltport. It's named because of its uh, salt mines that are very close by. And uh, they make a lot of money off their salt mines, and the salt mines were recently overrun by golems and, and by earth elementals. Mm -hmm. And this brave party went in there, braved the elements, and somehow uh, were able to stop the attacks, figure out what was going on, uh, and he <laughs> thinks that these will be the, the perfect people uh, for, for the job. And so you, he, he like brings you all you know, back up uh, over to Catfish Johnny's, which is the H, I believe, like all the way up by the docks. Or is that a J? Is that an I? That's an I. Or a one. I think it's the number one. <laughs> I think it's an yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the way up. Anyways, just to give you an idea. He, he walks you back up through town, and you see all these shops that are just now opening, uh, all these eccentric individuals walking around, and you're brought into, uh, into this, this tavern, right? Uh, and, and people are coming down for their morning breakfast. And it's at this point that you do, you see like a group of people that all like seem to come from a lot of different walks of life, uh, all like hunched around a table talking with each other. Uh, and that's when the, the camera kind of like pans over your guys' shoulders and to the party sitting around a table. And the, the party is like halfway through their breakfast. Uh, what's like on the tip of their tongues? What's their conversation? Famous! <laughs> he wants oh the box of the party! Uh, she's been here all morning. Well, hello. No. I've been watching you for a couple days, actually. Now I felt it. Uh, but it, no, but it's good to have you back. It, it, it's kind of it feels like a, a part of the family's been missing yes. since the, since the zombie thing. Indeed, okay. indeed. I'd have to agree, and especially the, since Max is up there. I walked past his room and he was snoring like an elephant. Oh, that was him. Yeah, that was like some kind of serious. So we've well, we've kind of been like. We've been down one member. It's good to have someone with a bit of a, um, a, a strength to them. You know, a, a, a density, if you know what Are I'm you saying. Saying I have density. No, I'm saying. Oh shit! I'm saying your muscles are so. I mean, I'm uh, saying. Thanks. Uh, thanks. I'm not good at uh, this. Where can you get a nice jar? Of she, 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 yeah, she's saying. <laughs> She's saying you got a nice set of uh, guns right there. Noble party of Saltport! Hello, yeah. hello, greetings! Similarly, hello. yeah, a, a, a nice, bright, happy-looking man holding a large safe with, with bright, puffy cheeks appears standing over you all. Uh, uh, 
in stride, directly behind him, uh, is a rather gallant uh, looking paladin, uh, bright shining armor, uh, and a, uh, a, an elf that's, that, that seems a little on edge, kind of like looking around, uh, and, and the three of them approach your table. My new friends and I require your assistance on behalf of the research commission. You've come highly recommended by the Tsar Craig, as your recent successes have proved your worth. Would you be willing to assist us in this most important endeavor? Mm. Mm. You see, it is quite important because this artifact is very, very valuable and needs to be transported across Mitten Bay. However, there are some members of the party, I don't know if you've heard of them, of calamitous intent. Oh, They're no. very, 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 very valuable nope. and they happen to know that I am in possession of this artifact and I require protection. Uh, okay. We'll give you money. Is there beer involved? How much sure. money? All right. I'm we are going to be taking a very large charter as to not arouse suspicion. There should be a bar and food aboard, all included. Well, I heard bar and food, so that sounds about right to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. So there's beer and food. Is there money? Uh, I believe I said yes. Yes. Okay. Great. Money. Great. Let's do it. Love it. <laughs> well, we are we are helping someone, so we might as well. We might as well. Alright. I don't know if I can read Billy Bob. Oh, uh, who's Billy? Bring Billy. He's not doing too well. He was stabbed. Oh. What happened to Billy? And, uh, Billy's up Billy. Billy. Cat, uh, oh, old Johnny is like, you know, coming over, cleaning out one of the things. He goes, uh, you all are thinking about going out again on a good old adventure, then you can, you can leave Billy Bob in the back with me and I'll be happy to take care of him. Billy, Billy in the back. That doesn't sound very responsible. I, uh, I, I Billy's a pony. Out, yeah, it's a pony. I pull out a piece of parchment paper and I give it to Catfish Johnny, and it's all the different instructions <laughs> that uh, Catfish Johnny has to follow. Yeah. Uh, Wait, so you see every hour. Look, I like I know. Uh, we're all off in a hurry. How fast do you need to do you need to leave? Oh, this afternoon. All right. right. Should we be waking up, uh, Max? I could try. Um, I know the curse hasn't been hitting him as well as me. He's kind of been like out of it for like the past few days. Yeah. The, what, again, when I passed by, it sounded like a rhinoceros dying in his room. His we snores were just intense and deep, like the Marianas Trench. Okay, we can let him relax for a little bit. We can. Uh, leave the note with him. He'll take care of Billy. I'm sure that's an, enough of an adventure for him. Uh, it says here that I have to put droplets in his eyes every 12 hours. Oh, Max can do that. That's hysterical. <laughs> yes, let's let him do that. How do you know your pony has dry eyes? He won't cry. <laughs> well, who am I to get in between a, a halfling and his pony, I suppose? Uh, and he folds it up and puts it in his shirt pocket and he's like, don't worry, uh, old Johnny will take good care of him. At the stables. And you, you pay really nice for nice rooms here, so it's on the house. Oh, no, thank you. Sweet yeah. Jiminy H. Crick. I, 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 like, I go upstairs and I like go into yeah. Max's room. Like, and what do I... Oh, wait. I knock. Yeah. What do I hear? You hear like... Oh, I, and, <laughs> and then every once in a while he'll like wake up and you'll hear like a... Uh, and then like rustling and then he rolls over again. And, uh, I, I open You're the door. A man in distress. Yeah. I open the door and I'm like... I, and I just like prod him. Uh, we're gonna leave for a little while. You you stay here and take some rest. I'm gonna leave, leave this note. And uh, here's a uh, just. And the note says like, uh, off on an adventure. Sorry we couldn't take you. You you'd look terrible. <laughs> you look terrible. You look yeah. terrible. And, and from like underneath, like just like peeling back the 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 blankets a little bit, you see Max is just like bloodshot eyes and he's like mm. this poor average but you also man. see him cuddling his sort of petrification me <laughs> guy because he feels like a real and, hero with it and then yeah I, I just look at him don't worry when we get back I'll take you to get that thing registered <laughs> uh, yeah and then <laughs> the door closes back up and, uh, down you all go and um, I think away you walk towards yes. the towards the docks um, pitter patter, pitter patter. Yeah, um, and and 
You've, you've already met uh, Gillian here, but you, you do have these, these two individuals kind of like walking right on the outskirts of your, your party circle that are just like there. I don't know if I've been properly introduced. My name is Gillian Trout. I am a member of the Research Commission, and these are my two new best friends. What were your names again? Uh, oh, Alana. Hello, I'm Elder White. Oh. Hello, uh, hello, Alana. Hello, Elder White. Alana, you said your name was. Y- yeah, right. Well, we should get along fine. And uh, you, uh, Elder what? Elder White. Elder White. Right. You look familiar. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just came from Cordia, but you might have seen me around. Oh, I just got here. Oh, God, that awful place. Cordia. What's wrong with Cordia? Nothing's wrong with Cordia. Nothing. Nothing's wrong with everything. Everything's not wrong with Cordia. <laughs> nothing's wrong with Cordia. No, <laughs> nothing's wrong with Cordia. I feel like you're not telling me something, but I've got something to tell you. No, here, I have really a really right right here. Right. Yeah. I, I, I already you. know. I love uh, corn, whatever his name is. Are we talking about the grapes? I like grapes. Oh, Concord. Yes. No. Sweetheart. No. No. We're talking about my Lord and Savior, Cord. Oh, what's like what's Cord again? Really? Yes. Uh, Perhaps we can sit down yeah, and have a conversation about him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would love to hear about that any other time, but now or ever. So, could we just? <laughs> That, that would be like a history check to, to see if, if we know... Yeah, that. yeah, if, see if you've ever heard of Cordia. Oh, no, that'd be religion. Religion check. Yes. There's oh. a religion one? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Shit, it is. I have a big fat zero for that one! Yeah. Huh. Oh, no. Can you guys want to see if you've ever can heard of Can I borrow that? Oh, can I borrow that? Uh, uh, I rolled uh, 14, so... Uh, I rolled 16. 14, 16. 8. 8. Uh, Nat 20. Bam! First one of the night. You fucking did. <laughs> no, yeah, 6. 6. six, six. <laughs> 14. All right. Those, uh, everybody that got above 10 uh, knows that Kord is the storm god, the lord of battle. He revels in strength, battlefield prowess, and thunder. Uh, a mighty god in and of himself. Oh, yeah. Kord. I pray to him every time <laughs> I need to go on ships and shit. Uh, I've seen people pray to him and then punch somebody in the face. Yep, I did. Isn't that the like band that wrote Freak on uh, Leash? But uh, for those of you who, who got a, a 15 or higher, uh, right, the 10 or higher, you know, he's like the storm guy, god of the battle. But for those of you who uh, got 15 or higher, you know that he uh, he preaches like goodliness, right? There's strength in battle, but there's also even more strength in the capacity to, to choose between good or evil and know that you're doing the right thing in battle, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's, yeah. I don't know, he's a little too squeaky clean. <laughs> <laughs> You wonderful people. We seem to have arrived. Let's meet our captain. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Is it, is it foot journey? <laughs> uh, uh, far too small of a boat. Uh, the, the camera pans over, and for the first time, uh, you, you all see your vessel. Uh, it's a, a very large, kind of like three story uh, style vessel, right? Uh, you, you can tell that it's, it's got like several Triple sections. Of uh, and standing out in front of it, like leaning on, on a part of it while it's it's like moving up and down in the bay, uh, is a very large, very ornate tabaxi. Uh, yeah, uh, he's got like an eye patch over his eye. He's got like a like a red do rag thing and uh, earrings all over and like rings. Uh, and he he steps off of it and onto the dock and he says, "Gillian, hello, Dover." And um, points with a sharp finger now. These are my new friends. All of them. Yes, they're here to protect me and the artifacts. Uh, uh, friends is a loose term. Yeah, I, wait, more like bodyguards. Yeah. Co-workers. We're on an adventure. Helpful. Quick partners for the day. With mutual Well, I like you all just fine. We love to help. Don't we? All right, well, before anybody gets on my ship, I do need to just double check and make sure none of you are ruffians, hoodlums, burglars, murderers. Um, they come with the highest recommendation from Sarkar, oh, yeah. and these two just look kind. Ruffians? No, of course not. Not even a little bit. No, no. Maybe a little criminal. No. Bur- burgling? No, never. I may have fleas, but I'm not. I'm not no ruffian. That's I have fleas too. Interesting. Wow. His eyes we'll be like, good friends. <laughs> so he looks around. And he's like, ah, just one thing I want y'all to know is that I don't appreciate breaking the laws on my ship. Even though being out on the bay, being out on the ocean, there aren't as many laws. My laws just 
be nice. Generally, don't be an asshole. Well, and I we'll get along fine. And his tail flicks a little bit. I appreciate that. That sounds like a pretty good, uh, those are some pretty good laws right there. Yeah. Could we all agree that we're not going to be assholes today? Mm, no. I can guarantee I won't be. I like this one. Would you like some tea? Maybe later, buddy. I got a lot of things to show you, alright? Okay. What's everyone's names, by the way? Again, I'm Dover. Uh, she, Vestrin just reaches out and immediately tries to shake your hands like, I'm, uh, Vestrin Galakir. Vestrin. Yes. Pleasure. Right. <laughs> nice, nice to meet you. I walk over, tiny hand. <laughs> tiny yeah, hand. he's like 6'2", so he like reaches all the way down. Yeah. Waka waka. Ah, pleasure. Hello, I'm Elder White. Ah, I'm keeping an eye on you, buddy. I like you. I like you, too. Ah, <laughs> love a simple relationship. I am Althea Lucient of Thuvia, <laughs> daughter of Etrion and Lumeria. Mm, I'm going to call you Alfie. Do not ever call me That's Alfie. That's a really good nickname. Oh, oh, call me Alfie. Alfie. Yikes. Uh, roll me a... a um, it's not coming to me right now. A ba 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 Persuasion? Intimidation. Oh. Intimidation. My brain is off today. I mean an intimidation. Uh, oh, I see. I'm just having Yeah, not very yeah, yeah, so like, don't, <laughs> don't call me that. He goes, all right, Alfie. Uh, what about you? I'm like fiddling with bacon as he's like trying to get him in the bag. He's so yeah. scared of water. He's like not having this at all. And there's like a light rain. Yeah, there's like light rain on top. And he's just, he's looking for his hat. He hates this. I'm like, I'm Alana and this is bacon, my pet rat. He goes with me everywhere. So I hope that's not an issue. You he licks his lips a little bit. And he's like, he named you rat after food. Yeah, I was really hungry when I found him. All you right, have well. a pet rat. Yeah, his name's Bacon. He goes with me everywhere. He's really, really well mannered and sometimes potty trained. Charming, charming, charming. Yeah, and and sorry about the rain. We'll we'll get inside soon. I know the two of you shady looking. Uh, my name is Fucking. You can't be serious. He is serious, and he is really. Well, that's what my friends call me. All right. Yes. I'll call you Funkin then. Yay! How about you? Like scratch my head and I just like lazily look at you. Tea. Again, simple relationship. I like the two of you. His tail flicks again and some water flies off of it and sprinkles all of you. <sighs> well, this is my trusty ship. Her name is Sesame. I named her Sesame because I can do this. Open Sesame! Uh, and the the plank <laughs> slams down onto the dock uh, and a uh, a perturbed voice uh, echoes through the rain and as you all look up you see an extremely pale grouchy unhappy looking man uh, who seems to be like the deck hand and he looks down and goes all aboard <laughs> all aboard I hope his name is Ben we're leaving soon uh, and he, uh, uh, and Dover's like uh, that's Kendall <laughs> everybody go ahead and hop aboard uh, Kendall Jesus. hello Kendall don't talk to me Respect. You look far too happy. And you see that he's like holding a bunch of really pink fluffy luggage. And oh, he just looks oh, so oh, mad. Oh, Be yeah. careful with those. Those are expensive. Yeah. This boat is disgusting. Why is it so slippery? The camera pans ever so slightly next to Kendall. And we see this woman in a giant flowery dress with all of the makeup and trimmings in the world. And she just looks so young and so primp and so proper. I cannot believe my dad didn't buy a nicer boat for me to go to Gardenia Hill. This is like peasant territory. Yeah, and you all like are entering the boat as, as you see uh, this who, woman. Uh, who's this? And I like lean over to, to the uh, captain. Yeah, Dover. Yeah, he's I am like, absolutely in um, This is Jennifer White. Uh, she comes from a noble family and um, 
that's your ass I know. Because I like walk by her, like I smell her perfume, and it like makes me sneeze. On her. <laughs> oh. <I> immediately. <laughs> um, excuse you. Your lucky it's raining, and that washed right off. Or we have a oh, it's my eyes. It's just fucking. Oh, I, it's too much. Then stand away. I want to pick okay. fucking shit out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to fuck yeah, it. So it's as and Wendell, I'll take my own bags, okay? It's Kendall. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. And, and as Dover Randall. is bringing everybody up onto the ship. Go ahead and give me your sleight of hand check versus uh, Jennifer's I got plus four. Come on. She's probably got what? Are we starting with inspiration or not? Uh, not just because you were late. Sorry. We gave everyone who's here on time inspiration. Yeah, we just totally did. Just to be honest, a little yeah. bit. Uh, I got an 11. I got an 11. You got an 11. Okay, uh, so Ty goes to the defender. So you do. You like you sneak by, and maybe you know how like cats when they like stretch and their their claws get caught on something. It's like that. Like you go to, and I think you successfully pickpocket a little bit, and you get stuck on her like flowery dress. And there's a moment where you're like, What the hell like, are you doing to my dress? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to uh, ask you actually because um, it's so beautiful, my dear. Who are you wearing? Is that Michael Kors? Mm -hmm. Um, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I have I have no idea anything about fashion. I I, I just wanted I to. I can tell. Well, I wanted to give you all of my respect, dearie. Yeah, I can fucking tell. Mm -hmm. She yeah. just takes all of her bags downstairs. You get away with nothing. Fuck you. Uh, except for <laughs> Roll better. maybe being a little annoyed, a little more annoyed. I'm always um, annoyed. Yeah. So Dover says, uh, if you, if you need anything, you can talk to Kendall. He's my deckhand. Although he's kind of a dick. So um, just. Whatever you need, maybe come to me first about it. That's Jennifer. Uh, we already introduced her. Oh, yeah. Um, we like to keep a clean ship about us, and because it's raining and it's all dirty, around the other side of the, the top deck, uh, we do have a box where I'd like all of you to drop your boots and your shoes. Uh, we have some slippers that I'd like for you to put on as we go down. What? Slippers. They're soft. Kendall made them. They're made of silk. I don't wear anyone else's shoes but my own. Well, you're not going to be allowed downstairs if you're bringing a bunch of mud and dirt. All right, I'll stay up here. Okay. T, are you sure? I'm not taking off my boots. T. That is where I draw the line. <laughs> and he walks <laughs> everybody. He walks everybody around the deck, uh, and uh, just kind of like give me a perception check as as you look out across the sea, the bay. Perception! Let's play! 13! 12! 12! 12! 17! 17! 8! 3! Plus your perception, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> it's not like a 3 plus 3 or something like that. Seven. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so I think <laughs> Alana and T, I don't know, maybe like you get water in it, like the rain in your eye or something like that. You look out and immediately it's like, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> all the rest of you, uh, yeah, you, seem like, you see like a storm approaching for sure. Aside from that, uh, uh, sitting like out on the front of the boat, you see an adorable a little halfling uh, that's got beautiful golden eyes, beautiful golden locks. Uh, reading a big, thick tome that's like the size of her, um, and there's like a magical disc floating above her head, so that all the rain like hits it and pours off around her. So she oh. and her boat are not getting wet, Definitely and like she's just like flipping through this giant tome on her lap as as Dover's like marching you all around the front of the deck. Hey, like, who's that? Huh? Who's who? No. no. The blonde, the blonde, <laughs> no, the blonde, uh, the, the blonde the, halfling over there. The best one's uh, just like stunned into like. I, I, to be honest, I don't know much about her. She introduced herself as uh, Marigold, uh, but she's been reading that book the entire time. Uh, it's an annoying name. Marigold. Yes. Oh well, wait till you hear I her last. I keep hearing name. my name. Oh, hey, Marigold. Sorry, uh, these are the passengers. The last ones uh, we're, we're about to show off, but. Just getting them all situated, showing them around. I, uh, I, I walk up to Marigold. Hey, uh, my name is Funkin. Aren't you adorable? What? What are you reading there? Oh, it's a very important book. Um, I'm studying it because I'd, I'd like to be a part of the Institute oh. for Higher Minds. Hey! That's oh. wonderful. Yes, so I'm brushing up on, on all of my skills. What, um, what kind of skills are in that tone? Oh, well, a, a lot about the history of, of where we're from, and um, 
the magic, the magic about this place. Do you mind if I borrow this book? I really do. I really do. Okay. All right. <laughs> You know, that's a that's a really nice tome, but I have another tome that you can totally use in your repertoire. Look over there! Yeah. And then, what, what's over there? Anything else? Just oh, go look know. over there. Oh, what's anything cord. else? It's cord. <laughs> cord? <laughs> and you look out and you see Say a giant, you see a large storm coming. <laughs> oh, yes, cord! How's it going, big guy? Oh, oh sorry. I was Oh, I love this. <laughs> um, yeah, so he brings you around to the other side, and Dover's like, "All right, everybody!" And he opens up this big, uh, mostly empty chest. That you see, um, like three or four pairs of, of dirty, muddy boots in there already. And uh, he says, "All right, drop them on in." Uh, and he takes off his boots and drops them in. Uh, Does everybody else oblige? Yeah. Stand there with yeah. my arms crossed. My boot has like my boots have so many laces and buckles, and it takes me like a good fucking like six minutes. And then uh, he has uh, many different colors and styles of, of different slippers. Uh, you've got green, you've got red, you've got blue, you've got gold and silver, you've got bronze, you've got white, you've got black. I might be a cat's feet. I mean, what was your name? Dover. Dover. Yeah, can I just go barefoot? I'm a cat. Um, We're a cat. You know, I, I guess they're. Uh, as long as Kendall doesn't see you walking around, he's the one that really gets all you know freaky about. He won't see me. Trust Just me. don't trail in any mud. Is, is kind of the point. Certainly, certainly. Yes. I'm not picking shoes. Uh, I I just put on some white slippers. Cool. Wait. Yeah. I used to have green slippers back at Cordia, so I guess I'll wear the green ones. <laughs> ah, again, su- super simple. I love it. <laughs> I love this guy. Do you have really small ones for bacon? It's just, I, I don't want to let him run around on the ground, but I also don't want him to just be in my backpack the whole time. Uh, I never really thought about that. Um, how about this? And he pulls off his do-rag and like shakes it out a little bit. And he's like, you want to wrap him up in this? It's oh. like a little blanket. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. So uh, give him some running space and maybe place to have an accident. Um. You know what? Right. You can keep that. <laughs> oh, thanks! <laughs> Throws on the, the golden slippers. Nice, alright. Do you, do you have like an entire body slipper? Are you talking about a sleeping bag? <laughs> like a morph suit? <laughs> like a... Like you want pajamas? To oh, you, guys, you guys got a pair of pajamas with like a butt flap? Because I would love that. <laughs> I used to have one back at the Institute. Oh. Please have me have some. That shit would be amazing. <laughs> Look, everybody's got PJs in the cabin. All right, just throw, throw on some slippers and let's get going. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, I'll grab like a... a, a, like a what, black pair? Sure, yeah, I wasn't taking yet. And then I put it over my boots. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he looks at you and he's like, I like somebody. I can get around the rules, still follow the rules. I grab a mismatching pair randomly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, do, do you have like a specific color? No, so I just. Uh, whatever's left. Yeah, whatever's Maybe left. you end up with like the bronze ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah and, and you all are, are brought downstairs, uh, still like with all your backpacks on and like all your equipment. Um, and you get into like them on the main deck. Uh, on the main deck, there's like a side, there's like a bar, uh, there's a kitchen area, there's like a loo and a bathroom area that you can go. Um, and around it, as Dover leads you in, he's like, oh, there's this, there's this. Um, oh, and around the corner, we've got a couple other guests that I'd like to introduce you to. Uh, this is the galley, this is where we're going to be eating our breakfast, lunch, and dinner on our trip here. Uh, and you poke around the corner, uh, and you see a full bar and, and a very long group of tables. And uh, sitting at the bar are three individuals, an older man and woman, uh, and then like a younger kind of middle-aged uh, man kind of uh, next to them. Uh, and yeah, and they, you come into the middle of their conversation, uh, and uh, the, the older looking man stops and looks over, uh, and he goes, Oh, hi. How's everybody doing? Oh, we were just in the middle of a conversation. Uh, uh, I'm doing, I think we're all doing fine, yeah. aren't we? Yes. Uh, I'm doing great. Oh, see, I love that. Look at this guy. He's so simple and fun. What a great man. Oh, well, uh, let me introduce myself. It looks like the two year. Uh, how many are we now? And because you all are like in a like a t- t- tiny hallway, so you all like spread out. And he's like, oh, wow. There's a lot of you there. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, there's six, God. seven. Oh, I hope seven. there's enough beds. <laughs> I'm not sleeping with anyone. I don't know how to think about this. I don't realize there's going to be so many people here. Well, uh,. By the way, we're going to get nice and comfy with each other. Uh, this is my wife. Her name is Hillary. Uh, and this down here. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
this right here is, uh, next to us, is, this here is uh, Benjamin. I uh, never met him before, but seems like a nice guy. Why don't you introduce yourself, Bill? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Bill. You know I can introduce myself. Yeah, you can totally introduce yourself. Yes. Uh, I'm Bill. Uh, you know, I, I'm just taking a trip around Mitten Bay, been having a lot of fun. No! Uh, <laughs> something about me, I don't know, I, I like to collect artifacts. You know, uh, uh, I think collect like uh, macrame eggs and things of that nature. Uh, and Hillary here, uh, she likes her. Uh, I like to collect ashtrays. Gilded ashtrays, yeah, she likes them a lot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, about my own ashtrays. Yeah, yeah, I know, and you love your ashtrays. It's a great way to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, we were just having a chat about our artifacts and, and talking to Benjamin over here. Uh, and you see, uh, like a very uh, stoutly man stand up and he goes, "Hello, I'm Benjamin." politician from Frostvale. He goes around and he like shakes everybody's hands. Oh, yeah. uh, he's very kind to them. He says, uh, just uh, was meeting with uh, Zara Craig here in Southport, uh, having a conversation, quarterly update, if you will. <laughs> uh, but now I'm um, just on our way back up to Frostvale. Uh, yeah. So it uh, looks like we're going to be dining with you all tonight. Uh, where did he say he was from? Frostvale. From Frostvale. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what are you all doing here anyways? Oh, uh, we're here to, well, we're here to help. <laughs> help what? Um, they're helping me, the very kind souls. Oh, uh, what, well, what you got in your hand there? Oh, it's a very important artifact. See, I'm working on behalf of the Research Commission, and I'll be me. Just, yeah, just tell people about no, that's, that's it. That's not a macrame egg, is it? No, of course. <laughs> oh, right. Um, no. See, I... They seem very trustworthy. I don't see why I wouldn't trust these kind of people. Should I, I, I think yeah. we should keep oh. that eye to eye. I have a very oh. ordinary <laughs> artifact that I'm delivering no. for now. Oh. Oh. Keep it oh. ordinary. Oh, that's... Oh, oh, that's tell, tell them it's none of his damn business. Oh, it's none of no. your damn <laughs> business. Uh, uh, and, and Benjamin sits back down and goes back to his old fashioned. He's like, uh, well, you know, if... If it means anything to you all, I'll, I'll be sure to keep my nose out of your business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, I, though, I, I do like that you're carrying around something all secret, mysterious. Uh, that's, that's a lot of spice to this. <laughs> Makes it a little more interesting, right? Yeah. And he takes a sip of his drink. Uh, and yeah, yeah and, and William is like, yeah, it does, it does. <laughs> you sure it's not a Mac and egg in there? <laughs> and he looks around at everybody. Is the thing you're looking for? Hey, Bill, Bill, you kill me. No, he's saying macrame. He's purposely saying macrame. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Dover's like, all right, all right, guys. Um, well, the, the bar is open to you, but I'd like to take you down to your quarters. Um, uh, and he points, and he says, i got to get back up and, and get everything going with Kendall. Uh, but you're going to head down that staircase there. Uh, and you know, so the staircase leads down to this hallway that like breaks off in two directions uh, with just a bunch of state rooms. Uh, everyone give me a perception check again as you come down. Yeah! Uh, nat 20. Ooh! Oh, you guys just traded. Fuck, what? Uh, uh, 11. 11. 11. 16. 16. 15. 15. 13. 13. I have a 20. 20? Yeah. 6. Six. <laughs> you come down and, and everybody notices something immediately. You face the wrong direction. <laughs> and it's like, oh, and like, I don't know, maybe the carpet is like, <laughs> like whoa! Like, and then, like, Hung is looking at the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I like the wall. The rest of you notice a small, dirty looking child sneaking out of a state run door, like closing a door. Uh, and you in particular, Elder White, uh, notice that he very obviously is hiding something like up under his shirt, like a big clump of something under his shirt. Uh, he's like sneaking out of the out of the door. Dialogue time. Hello, child. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. What 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 do you got there? It looks oh. like you're you're holding something. Uh, something. Are you delivering something? Uh, no. It's just it's just my dirty shoes. You know they don't want me to get my dirty shoes on. the on the floor, so I'm holding well, my dirty shoes. Shouldn't you have gotten slippers, though? I mean, we all have slippers on. Yeah, you look down, you see he's definitely wearing slippers. Uh, I just, I didn't, I didn't want to lose my shoes. Hey. Okay, you got me. He just takes them out of his shirt and just holds a bunch of macrame eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Fabergé eggs, but macrame eggs, you know. Macrame. <laughs> the eggs. The cream. Uh, they just, cream. They, I, but I liked them, I wanted them. Sorry. Well, no. you know, it's not right to steal. I know. It really isn't. I know, I just I like it so much. I understand entirely. I just I get <laughs> things without having to do anything but take them. You know, right. it's it's okay to sin, 
But there is a way you can be saved. Uh, Please, if you just let me... Wait a minute! What's over there? (laughs) I'm going to hear that eventually when I hear the spiel. My dear, would you let me see those for just a moment? I promise I won't take them. I wouldn't. Well, I feel like if I can't have them, then you probably shouldn't. I won't take them. Your cats are sneaky. The captain... Hey, Hey, that's a little bit. That is a bit racist. I'm sorry, I'm just a kid. (laughs) (laughs) Funkin', would you... Take a look at those for us. Yeah, you're basically you know, a child. Just, I just left. I could just go put them back. You know, last time I saw a wallpaper like this. <laughs> yeah, and you all turn and look at facing the wrong direction. It has missed this entire conversation. Never mind. Just let's just go see you put them back. Oh no, no, do something dumb. Oh. Let's just go see you put them back, and okay. we'll forget this ever happened. Right? That's fair. Now tell me, my dear, are we just going to follow Yeah, yeah, you're going to follow me, we're going to go back into uh, Bill and Hillary's swim. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the, the eggs back where they belong. Now, my dear, good good choice, by the way. But, um, my dear... Thanks, I think they're worth a lot of money. They sure are. Um, <clears throat> what's your name? <laughs> oh, my name's Murph. 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 How did you end up on this? And I just, like, get down on his level. How did you end up on this, uh, on this ship? Well, I got, I got in some trouble, because, like you guys saw, I like taking things. Well, people don't like when you take their things, so I'm kind of running away from the people whose things I took. Right. I'm trying to do better, I'm just failing miserably. My dear, I understand. Really, I do. Really? Yes, I do. I'm trying to do better myself. So, uh, how about we just, I will, none of us, I think, will tell anyone, we'll make this all going to be cool, we'll be cool. As long as you put them back. I did, you just saw me, I just Maybe put them back. Inspecting the room? Totally, yeah, give me uh, an investigation yeah. as yeah, as this conversation's going on. Just, um, 10. 21. 21. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this conversation's going on in the background, and, and the camera like kind of like pans over to you, yeah, and it almost yeah, like yeah, becomes yeah. your eyes for a minute. Uh, and we hear like the Charlie Brown adult voices, like, wah, 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 wah. and you're just like looking around everywhere, and it's just like they like moved into this thing, even though it's a fucking two day trip. They they're like all their luggage is out, and all their uh, their articles of clothing have been like put away, uh, and there's eggs. Everywhere, uh, and, and, and yeah, and like ornate <laughs> ashtrays everywhere, uh, and there's like silken bed sheets and silky oh, like uh, bed uh, pillow covers. Dust. It's just like nice. I check for dust. Oh yeah, well with your you got a 20, uh, okay. twenty-one, yeah, yeah. Uh, they seem to have dusted everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Can, nice. I, uh, can I make a perception check on the wallpaper? <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. Fucking go nuts on that. Please. Two. It's wallpaper. Cheers, <laughs> 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 buddy. Good job. Uh, so yeah, I think I think Man. Murph uh, in, in the spirit of time, Murph goes on his merry way, and the rest of you like settle in your uh, various state rooms, and then like drop off all your equipment. Uh, and eventually, you hear the the ringing upstairs of a of a bell, and the sound of. Of, of Kendall, Kendall, like halfway down the staircase. Hello, if you don't wish to starve to death, dinner's ready. Dinner. Hello. Dinner. Let's do dinner. He's like calm down. Uh, does everybody come? Does anybody stay in the room? Does anybody do anything in particular? Like as far as like, I'm, I'm, oh, my I'm character is so hungry, I sprint out in my pajamas. Nice. <laughs> what are your pajamas? What do they look like? Oh, I'm please. really interested in the butt flap. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think. The got pajamas. One down. Yeah. Maybe like maybe all the doors are like color coded with the slippers you chose, okay. and so the pajamas are also color coded with the slippers and the doors. And By any chance, yeah. do you have any? Do you have special magic very pajamas? Very nice pajamas? Yeah. <laughs> are your are your pajamas special and magic? I don't know. I can't really tell. All yeah. right. Up the stairs you go, pat, whipping past Kendall, who just gives you this look like, "Why are you so happy?" <laughs> uh, and then eventually, yeah, everybody makes their way up to the galley. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah. And at this point, everybody's just like gathered around for dinner. Uh, uh, and um, yeah, Dover, Dover steps out. Cool. 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 Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, D- Dover steps out. And he's like, uh, I'll be joining you all. And before you you get all crazy on me, uh, this boat is enchanted. 
uh, it actually is, has is an enchanted magical boat that drives on course. Mm -hmm. uh, it was made by um, uh, a little big guy from yeah. Frostvale a long time ago. Um, uh, so like no, you, like you guys all see like Aww. you guys all see Walker get visibly excited and immediately like like uh, just Should I hide this, it? yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, he was, he was like a famous inventor or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was it was great. Now I can I can hang out here with with my crew and, and eat. Uh, so don't freak out. I know he's <laughs> driving the boat. Um, and yeah, like ding ding ding. Uh, Kendall steps out and he's like, "All right, everyone, because of the individuals we have eating with us." And he glares at like Jennifer and the and the Fords, you know, uh, Bill and Hillary. Uh, we were asked to have a rather nice three course meal tonight. We'll be starting off with. Clam chowder, straight from Mitten Bay, the finest oh. clams, yes. Hi, my name's Falcon. Great. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. Oh no, pick it out. I too am a vegetarian. Oh I great, am. is anyone here a vegetarian aside from the two of them? I just... I, bacon is. Bacon is a vegetarian. <laughs> Your pet rat named Bacon is He's, a vegetarian. Yes, he doesn't need any meat. I almost smiled at that. Oh, he's very cute. You want to take a look he's, again? He's, he's kind of jolly. Fine. I'm, I don't know. Eat some seaweed or something. Fuck, you won't like this the main course either. For the main course, we're having pork and pineapple Ugh. and sticks. Mm, Is the pineapple separate from the pork? Yes, it's cut into tiny little squares for your fancy elven mouth. <laughs> oh, I'll call it the pineapple <laughs> Just pineapple. Great. Do you have any pineapple? Leaves? Bacon too. I will get him one square of pineapple. Uh, my dear, strange request. Uh, what? Do you have any grass? Just, I mean, like little grass. Like. I can go scrape some barnacles off the bottom no, I mean, of the I mean, boat I mean, if you'd like. We are literally sailing across a bay. Right, but I mean, anyway. Ne never mind. I just, I'm having mean, a bit of a. Time. And for dessert, we'll be having. Serpent's cluster lime pie. It's made amongst the serpent's cluster. The islands, that I'm sure you're all aware of. They yeah. make a very nice lime pie there. Any questions from anybody before I start our service? I once had a pet pig. His name was Phil. Great. That's why I don't eat pork. That's not a question. God, I'm so hungry. I feel like I've been waiting for 500. Well, so, oh, it's you again. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to tell you how beautiful you are. I can't tell if I like you or not. <laughs> I'll get it. Yeah, so uh, um, dinner is essentially served with the finest uh, mixed drinks and meads and beers and wines. Is there milk? There's totally milk. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. basically whatever your heart desires, aside from the well, three course meal. Milk. Yeah, that was uh, pre prepared. Uh, and yeah, like conversation uh, just, just kind of like starts up. And, and I think, like, of the group of people that are there, it's, it's probably like Bill that like initiates a conversation. This, you know, he just gets like real happy and energetic with you guys. He's of like, course. Uh, you know, so, so uh, usually everybody, you know, gets to know each other a little bit uh, around dinner table, you know, bringing bread and everything. <laughs> uh, how do we get to know each other? Drinking game! There's bread? Drinking game. I right. bread and drinking games. Why not? I love to drink. Well, it, it's more of a, a figure of speech talking about bringing bread. It's really just uh, eating food with people. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you have a speech impediment? No, I just talk like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No reason. You know, in real estate, growing up, people used to make fun of me all the time for that. Me and Hillary, we would get made fun of constantly, all the time, picked it, on. It was mostly him. Yeah. I just, I, he just doesn't really let me get a word in. Well, she but doesn't. She doesn't really understand what we go through every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we've been through a lot, but you know what? We pushed through on the other end, made a lot of money. Now we collect a lot of artifacts. So the eggs I that you collect, yes, all of that stuff that you do. Um, uh, so where do you usually get them? Oh, um, you know, we, we, we travel, kind of like we're doing right now. Right. right. Travel, we'll go to different places, people that sell them, you know. Usually we're on our own boat, so yeah. it's, it's yeah, really we do nice have to have company now. Uh, Why aren't you sailing on your own boat right now? Oh, you know, Hillary likes having a vacation every once in a while. Mm -hmm. and, and frankly, I'm getting a little old. My Being around literally anybody else. <laughs> yeah, especially because we get made fun of them. People 
You should ask about my accent. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, what's, the, what's the deal with all you folks? Uh, we all got to have some kind of story, some kind oh. of experiences we had. Yeah, well, I'm going to Gardenia Hill, and my dad totally did not give me enough money. Like, he doesn't think I know how much money he has. Like, what the hell, Dad? So, it's like, whatever. I'll we'll have, like, a cheaper vacation than I was planning. It's cool. Just, like, budget or whatever poor people. He really swindled you, didn't he? You know. He sure does. How ridiculous. Whatever. She's just like eating her dinner. Uh, anyway, um, I, well, I suppose I could tell you about myself. Um, I'm a veteran. I believe I introduced you, introduced myself to you earlier. Uh, I, uh, this is my... This is our a rowdy bunch of we are crew, bodyguards, we are I crew, guess. Yes, and um, I uh, uh, people pay me to do things they need to get done. That's that's about my job. That's really that, that's I basically do. what we're all doing yes. here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, we're making sure you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> what the, what I think the everybody is like. It was like that moment. Uh, yeah, and Dover speaks up a little bit. And he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I used to, I used to get into a lot of trouble in my day too." <laughs> you did, uh, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, I, I got in battle with the Night Ravens. Owed them a lot of money, a lot of gambling. I have a pretty bad gambling problem, but I ended up uh, winning uh, this sesame here that you're that you're riding on. I uh, ended up starting paying it back slowly by having people, you know, take them back and forth across Minton Bay. And the summer is a bit of a slow season right now, and uh, I've had threats of breaking my, my cat legs. But um, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm getting real close. I just need a little bit more money, and I'll be completely paid off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we all get ourselves in no. trouble here and there, though. I'm glad uh, you're doing well, and I agree. We do all get ourselves in trouble. I, I, I turn to these two, and I just go, now, if you're going to be part of... The squad. Or at least squad. When do we start calling ourselves the squad? I'm just I'm now. I'm sh- I'm, we're coining it the squad. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I, I've been showing you all these graphic design <laughs> letter titles that I've been coming oh, up yeah. with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like engraved up your gun. Yeah. No, I, the, it, and like on the page, there's like a million different like working titles for like the, the group. Uh, you did not. You two have have been in Mitten Bay for how long? I mean, I just got in. I'm passing through. I've, I've been a lot of places. This is kind of the first human interactions I've had in a really long time, other than the dark place. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't ask for. Sp- okay, I won't ask for specifics. What is the dark place? Oh, I was really little, and my parents got rid of me, and they sent me to this place. I don't really know the name, but they asked me a lot of questions and do some, like, poking and pricking and injecting, but I got out, and um, they, I think, aren't looking for me, maybe. <laughs> That's good to know. We should talk. That- uh, then I met Bacon and traveled around and landed here, and now I'm on a boat. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. And this like, is my first time outside of Cordia, so it's really cool to meet different people. Oh, and that, that, it's that, good on you. Uh, you remind me of, a, of the sleeping guy that we left back, just a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't really know who that is. Yeah. I'd love to talk to him sometime, though. I'm like, sure he would. I'm sure he would. <laughs> I'm sure he'd listen to you, oddly enough. <laughs> Well, while we're opening up, I guess I'd, I'd like the opportunity to get something off my chest about uh, who, uh, Who's speaking? This is Mary. Okay. I'm, I'm, as I said, trying to join the Institute for Higher Minds because I'm trying to put my intelligence to a better use than I have in the past. Respect. You see, I, I used to be a part of the guild of Calamitous Intent, and, uh, I did some terrible things to people. <laughs> drop. But I've, I've done my time. I, I was captured. I was jailed. It, it was a horrible experience, but I'm, I'm rehabilitated. And as I said, I'm, I'm looking to use my intelligence for good. I, I just went where the money was. I, I had no moral compass, and I've, I've seen the consequences of my actions, and I'm, I'm really mm-hmm. trying to do better. And it's, it's with the help of people like you that it give me hope 
but I, I can. And that, yeah. that there are good things to be done in this world. If if you're being legit about that. Yes. Go ahead and do it inside. Hmm? Inside check. Uh, yeah. Shit. This is what we're buying. Insight. Ooh, 10, twelve. Fourteen. So, Where's so it'd be like versus whatever uh, silent. Where is that? Yeah. Whatever Where is silent that? roll. It's not, it's with the rest of the Twenty-one. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we had a ten, twelve, fourteen, two twenty-ones, a twenty, and a five. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the 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 five and the ten. Uh, you two are a little leery uh, of this individual. Uh, those of you in, uh, like around the middle, right, the, the, the 12, 14, uh, you're, you, you can't make heads or tails. Uh, the two 21s and the 20, uh, you have a very clear understanding that she really does seem genuine about trying to like turn a new leaf. Mm. So we all have our, our different mm. opinions and, over here. Mary, mm. what was the one we did with Tom? Yeah, yeah. I am halfway. super interested in... Ringgold and her tome and her whole dark past, and I, yeah. I will eventually probably try to befriend this. Yeah, you like, like you like pick up your 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 pie and you like move over and like see her. <laughs> I'm, see I'm just super interested in Marigold, so and I I just say I I finished the thought because it doesn't change and because like the revel- revelation of being eh, yeah. I, I just say if you're legit about you changing your past, I can. Put in a word for you. I got a friend at the institution. Mm. Oh, I would be forever grateful for that. Uh, 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 after the after the dinner. Yeah, we'll powwow. So uh, I say, uh, well, if you did do some bad shit, doesn't really matter now, does it? It sure doesn't. So, Whatever. Well, I suppose we all do bad things, don't we? Yeah, and then, like, a, a really sarcastic... Like and I think, it, like, the, the camera pans, like, down the table, like, right amongst all the food, and you see, like, a pair of slippers sitting up, like, propped up on the table. Mm. And Benjamin is, like, swirling his cup, and he's been, like, really quiet this whole time, and he takes a sip of it, and he's like, you all have had some frightening pasts. A lot of dangerous people here. And he sips yeah. it again. And I guess... Right, he's the spice of life, huh? And he puts it up. Cheers to a good dinner. <laughs> well, all right. Oh, cheers. 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 Any excuse to drink, am I right? Yeah. Next time on More Terror. It, it, the rain has gotten stronger, and the, the like storm is is like really. It, it like started approaching really like overnight. You're you're collecting with it. Like uh, it's starting to get wavier. And uh, yeah. uh, it, I can see in the dark. That's cool. I can see in the dark, and I'm really good at sneaking, as you may have gathered. Do you so, like belly rims? You, you, okay, you two go get funky shoes so we can. Get into the maybe, maybe my shoes will be with funky shoes. Huh? Cool. Something's in here. What's, what's on your hands? Is that is that blood on your hands? What? Why is there blood on your hands? Fucking what did you did you? The door swings open and there's there's our little kobold and the camera like slowly zooms around uh, as your eyes go wide. Um, on the bed is a uh, like slice the the sliced neck and dead body of Gillian uh, with. A like like a wet rag like oh shit. <laughs>